Yeah, so we need to go a little bit east that main road and then just head up north through there. So, that's what I'm going to be doing. Let's go. Looks like there's a gas station up ahead. Let me just take out this bloat fly real quick. Yeet. Oh, that. I throw it way weak. Oh, it still hit it, though. Whatever. Oh. Oh. What are you doing? Oh. Oh. You want something? Oh! <laughs> she does not. Oh. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> All right, I repaired my metal armor, so we are just gonna progress further. Gas station. Um, I'll probably just unlock this place, but I just wanna keep heading up north. Usually taking this way is usually how you get through Fallout, is just take this road. So that's what I'm doing anyways. Gonna head over there. Hold up, we got some ants. And I forgot, I had a good bit of the flamer fuel. That uh, Bosco guy at Novak, he had flamer fuel. I didn't, I forgot. So, I'll be using this more often. I want to get some big old guns too. One eighty-eight trade post. What's up, Samuel? Who are you? No offense, but you look like you've traveled a long way down some bad roads. Where'd you come from? Came from your mom's house. Uh, the grave. Huh. Well, in that case, I take it back. You look pretty good, given the circumstances. Thanks. Well, welcome then. I'm Veronica. I live in a hole in the ground. <clears throat> you live in a hole in the ground? Well, a bunker, if you want to get technical. I think it sounds more interesting my way. But I'm not there much anymore. I'm usually out here picking up food <clears throat> and supplies for my family. Whatever they need. So you just leave your family in the bunker? Yeah, I'm not worried. They can handle themselves. But somebody has to get the groceries, know what I mean? And actually these days, I think they'd rather have me out here anyway. But that's a whole other story. So listen... Can I ask you something on the level? Yeah, if you want to take off your clothes and meet me back at my place, you know, go right ahead. Oh! Ew! Dude! What the fu- Why are you the way that you are? Go ahead. I had a run-in with this group calling themselves the Brotherhood of Steel. Pretty strange bunch. Do you know anything about them? I've heard they shoot lasers from their eyes. Wow. I've got to admit, you have completely defied my first impression of you. Eye lasers. I'll be sure and look out for that next time. Any other juicy bits of intel? I don't really know anything about them. That's okay. I wouldn't expect anybody to. I think they tend to keep to themselves. Hey, so where are you headed anyway? The strip. Uh, I just kind of drift from place to place. Just wherever the wind <clears throat> takes you, huh? I like that. Keeps things interesting. I'll be honest. You're the first person I've run across out here that looks like he can really handle himself. Aww. There are places I've never been to that'd be too dangerous for just me. What do you think? Maybe we could travel together. Help each other out. Yes. Yes. Uh. Okay, let's travel together. Now you're talking. One thing you should know first, though. I ask you about the Brotherhood because I'm one of them. I know, I know, but I had to know how you react when I told you. 
We have made a lot of enemies. Oh man, I gotta watch out for the eye lasers. Actually, I'm more comfortable now that you've had some training. I'm great at punching people. What? I'm not gonna lie. It's uh, a gift. I well, love you. Thanks for taking a chance on a naive young girl from California with stars in her eyes and a pneumatic gauntlet on her hand. What? I... No, uh, hold up. What? Does jumping at... Yes! <gasps> she has a gauntlet! Oh my... Uh, marry me. Hey, don't throw my stuff on the ground. You know how much that costed me? Oh my gosh, dude. Okay. I... Let's see. Oh my god, bro. I love this chick. I don't know. I don't know who she is, but I love her and I'm saving my game. Also, if I remember correctly, there should be a shop right here. Well, I'm going to wait here for a little bit, so Ah, all right. There you are. Is there some reason I should be talking to you? I'd like to see what you have for sale. Am I selling? Yeah. Am I selling to you? No. Sorry to hurt your feelings, but you're small time. Move along. A gun nut like you must have some weapons stashed around here. Do I look like a fucking arms caravan to you? Do you think the gun runners keep the NCR military supplied by carrying weapons and ammo from the boneyard out here by the arm load? Get a clue. We have caravans. We deal in bulk. Uh, so where can I buy some weapons? There's usually a gun merchant hanging around topside. I'm sure she'll take care of you. You know what? I don't like your attitude. You like it any better if I tell you to fuck off? Tell you oh! Veronica! Veronica, you go! You go! Hi, mister. I hope you're doing fine today. Where are your parents, kid? Are you here all alone? I don't have a mama or papa anymore. I see them sometimes when I take off my medicine, but they can't stay. I'm pretty used to being on my own. I'd like to see what you got for sale. Oh, I don't sell things, mister. I sell thoughts. You sell thoughts? I can take off my medicine and do some thinking. People say it's real interesting. I don't know, because I never hear it. Some people say that it's a gift. Other people say it's the kind of thinking anyone could do if they watched more than they talked. I don't know which is true. I see a lot. I think a lot. There's a lot to hear through the 188, too. That maybe accounts for the thinking. What is your medicine, and how do you take it off? This thing on my head is headache medicine. It works real good, except I can't think when it's on. Really think, I mean. So you're on, an <laughs> you're on antidepressants and stress reducers? Same, though? I might be interested in buying your headache medicine. How much? Thinking hurts you too? Huh? I wish I could let you have the one on my head, but I can't. It hurts real bad when I don't wear it. You don't saw that junk behind you? That's not junk. That's other people's thoughts. People had to think to make them, and the thoughts got stuck inside. I need other people's thoughts to fill my head when I'm not thinking myself. Otherwise, it's... kind of empty. Uh... I am I see you. I might come back to that if people want me to. I that is 100 caps is a lot for some thoughts and I kind of don't care. Like to put it bluntly. But see that kid was nice. He didn't have anything coming. He had a nice attitude. I'm gonna be heading down that road. So, see you in a little bit. See you again. See you again.